Hi and welcome to the 2020 Nottingham International Film Festival, the virtual edition. And we're delighted to be joined by Keith Lane, the director of documentary short uh, Dispatches from Vietnam, Beer Bunkers and Typewriters. How are you doing, Keith? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us all the way from the United States. Thanks um, for having me. So what sort of drew you to this subject matter for your short film? Yeah, so it started with, uh, these are all stories about my father-in-law's time in Vietnam during the war. Previous to my wife and I getting married and when we were dating, I'd heard about these stories through her and her sister and one and two from him. And I thought they were really interesting and different than what I would normally get, you know, growing up sort of in the shadow of my generation about the Vietnam War, particularly in film and television. Um, I just thought they were really unique and they were funny and they were very insightful. And I thought they were just something that I, you know, I, I was just fascinated with, you know, to kind of get his perspective on it. And ever since I started hearing them, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do something with them. I didn't know what, and of course it already happened in the past. So then how do you show that? Um, and sort of it, it evolved from there. Cool. So tell us a bit about, uh, for people who've not had a chance to see it yet, tell us a bit about the form you did decide to take with it. So what did you decide to do? So it's a little bit different, not yeah. just talking heads. So. No, not just talking heads. I decided to go fully animated. Um, initially, I thought maybe it would make an interesting audio piece, but I'm doing more video. Um, and again, the, how do you show something excuse me, that, that has happened. Um, and I sort of fall in love with the format of animation for documentary storytelling. It, it gets used a lot in news pieces and you, you see it in little, little micro pieces, but um, it's nothing that I ever had experience with, but I thought, you know what, w once that idea came to me, I thought, yes, this is exactly how I want to tell the story. You know, uh, I could see it working really well in a short film format, at least for now. Um, and it just, it came, it basically fell, everything, once I had that idea of animation, it all fell into line. It was really interesting. Are there, are there plans to sort of progress with the film and look to take it past a short? I mean, potentially there's enough material there. If I can find the right person to kind of kick it along down the road with me, you know, this is totally fully produced on my side. Um, however, playing around with the medium of animation is definitely something I'm going to be con continually doing despite the pandemic or with the pandemic no matter what I, I'm, I'm basically in love with it if I can kind of do a lot more projects that use animation solely completely that, that are all na you know not narrated then they're all self-narrated and they all deal um, with something kind of dynamic and interesting then I'm going to absolutely uh, continue with animation. Okay, brilliant. If people watch this at uh, the Nottingham Film Festival and they want to follow your work and they want to find out more about the stuff you get um, get up to, what's the best way for them to keep up with what you're doing? Yeah, the easiest, two easiest ways are on Instagram and on Twitter. And that's just Keith C. Lane, at, at both of those handle accounts. Um, you can follow along from uh, all my photographic, ex you know, kind of experimentations and projects to what's coming down the pipe. And yeah, that's probably the, the easiest way to find me. Okay, fantastic. Well, I really, I'm sure everyone absolutely loved the film. And if they don't catch it here, I'm sure that it'll be in other festivals in the future. And we'll look forward to seeing some more of your work, hopefully, back at the Nottingham Film Festival in future years. I would love that. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Thanks, Keith. Thank you.